So I have a track pulled up right here that I've, I've been working on and it has percussions and I'm going to show you the kinds of percussions I used here and how I created them and create from scratch using some effects that I'll show you as we go so that I can show you the full process of how you can end up with a sound like this of percussions because if your percussions don't sound right your whole track won't really sound that good and authentic so you need to get these sounds correct because Afro House is a percussion heavy genre so you need to make sure you get your percussions right so follow along and make sure you can do this in any door you're using with any resources that you have I'm going to be using stock plugins and my own drum kits that you can check out in the links below so let's begin so here's the track right here that I'm uh, speaking about so the track itself sounds like this Just like that, it's nice and simple. So you can see here I have this group of percussions. So I just simply laid out like four percussion sounds. It's just four. So it's uh, this one here, this shaker here, which is this Amazon shaker. And I have this other shaker and another sound there and then a clap. So I just have a couple of things, but they're all adding to create nice per uh, percussion groove that sounds really nice. So I didn't add too much. But then what you do with this kind of uh, percussion sound, it, it all sounds great together. And I just sent them into a group so that I can mix them together as, you know, all the percussions on their own. So if I turn off the percussions and just play the track back, it sounds like this. So it still sounds good, but you can tell that the percussions are missing. Okay, so now let's start the percussions from scratch. So what I'll do is I'll go to my Mega House Percussion Pack because this pack has a lot of percussions and has a lot of folders full of percussion. So if you want to check out and have all these percussions, if you have this Mega pack of percussions i swear to god you won't need any other percussion pack this is the ultimate percussion pack especially for house music so you definitely need to have this in your arsenal of sounds so i'm gonna go into uh, percussion samples 11 and i'm gonna pick some samples from here yeah so i'm gonna pick this percussion here and i'm gonna drop it right here like that and what i like is i can create a pattern region like this and then i'll just loop this first four bars here like that and then I'm just gonna start adding my my sounds here that sounds really good now let's keep going let me look for another sound I'm gonna pick this shorter sound here, like that, and I'm, I'm just gonna make sure that the sound is a bit louder because you can tell that the sound is very soft, so I'm just gonna increase the volume right here. And again, I'm just gonna create a pattern region. And I'm gonna do that. That sounds really good. Now let's look for something else. I like the sound here. I'm also gonna add it in. So what I'm just doing is I'm just layering sounds and building up this percussion groove. That sounds good. Let's move on. So I'm gonna go into a different folder. I like the sound here and I'm gonna drop it in here. So I'm in uh, folder six. Just that simple, that's what I'm gonna do with that sound. I like the sound too. And I'm gonna drop it in like that. And again, create a pattern region.
just like that so i've created my percussion sounds here and you can keep going on and on and on depending on how many layers you want but i'm, I'm just going to leave it here for this example so that sounds good now let's get back to the single sounds that i loaded up here so i'm just going to mute all these other ones and start with the first one so it sounds really good but the thing i like to do with a sound like this to make it more interesting because right now it just sounds generic and doesn't sound super interesting what i like to do is i like to add a uh, delay or some echo on the sound so i can go in delay and you can pick any echo or delay that you have in your DAW or whatever software you're using so i can pick the echo right here like this do you have immediately that sounds much more interesting so i'll just drop down the wet level and I'll just drop the sound down and maybe put on my EQ and just EQ it a little bit so that you know I can carve the sound let me just lower the high frequencies a tad bit that sounds great already and then I can mute the second uh, unmute the second sound I think the sound is totally fine. I don't need to add too much to it in terms of the, 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 the delay or echo or anything like that. So I can move on to the third sound. Yeah, I think this sound will need a little bit of delay. So I can choose maybe the stereo delay so I don't keep using the same echo. If you want to use the same echo, it's totally fine. But I like to switch it up and add different you know, kinds of delay effects. So I'm just gonna raise the output mix. I think that sounds great that sounds amazing let's move on to the next one the sound is uh, again i'm gonna leave it as is i'm not gonna do anything to it so now we're gonna get to the last one and i'm gonna show you the amazing gem of a trick that i'm gonna show you after you've done all of this that will transform this whole section of of loops and all this sounds into something super amazing so make sure you stick around for that so this next sound here yeah let's also add some echo to it and i can pick a different one here so i can pick a uh, delay designer let's let's pick that one up so then i can also just cycle the presets so i'll start with the alternating pan and i'm going to increase the dry and just drop down the wet level and if i can solo it So that's really nice and so this is without that sounds generic and boring and with and with a plugin like this it's nice that you can play around with so many other customizations of uh, this plugin to really change the characteristic of this delay i mean it's called the delay designer so you can just play around with it just to make sure that you know the delay itself sounds pretty pretty cool but i'm going to leave it like this uh the, the the delay itself and customizing it can be a whole other video you can let me know if you want to watch that i can make that video um pretty soon if you want to see that so now my percussion sounds really great and everything sounds like this Really nice. Now I'm going to group all of them and show you what I do after this, like the last step. So I'm going to create a stack like that and I'm going to use use it as a summing stack because if I create a folder stack, it will just group them, but I won't be able to mix all of them into one bus. So if I create a summing track, you know, it says a multi-purpose track stack that functions as a mix subgroup. That's what I want. I want it to be a mix subgroup so that I can be able to mix nicely everything being summed into one track. So I'll say create and then there it is. So then I can just type perks like that. Oops, I wanted to capitalize there. Perks, just like that. So now everything is being sent to this one thing, to this one group. So I can turn it off and turn it back on, right? So now I can add effects that will affect all these percussion sounds. So if I want to EQ, I can turn down the low frequencies right there because there's a build up there. I want to boost the mids and drop down the the high mids right there I can do that too so I want to 
want to add some compression I can add some compression to it as well I can just come here and add a compressor like this and what's nice about compressors is that you've got all these presets that you can use so I can just pick let's pick a, a drum mix and I can drop the threshold down just like that that sounds really good okay so now what I want to do after I've done all this processing is to add the final touch to this so what I like to do is I like to do some to change the pitch of the percussions themselves so that's great any DAW you use has a pitch shifter plugin that you can use if you don't if your DAW doesn't have you can always download one you can definitely find one for this instance I'm just going to use the pitch shifter here in logic so I can open it up like this see very simple it looks super easy and super great to use so I'm going to change the timing to drums because these are basically drums I could change it to speech or vocals but I'm going to change it to drums and then I can start playing around with the pitch of these these percussion sounds so let me just solo them so that we can hear them on their own so I'm gonna raise the mix to hundred percent like this listen to that so this is with the semitones to zero so that's basically doing nothing you see if I, uh, I literally just turned it off and then if I drop the semitones to minus 12 that sounds way better than this so now you just have to find your sweet spot of where you want this pitching to happen so maybe I can try minus 8 or even a little bit more like minus 4 so now if I play these percussions with the pitch shifting and all the effects that I added to it and so that you can hear it with the track it's gonna sound like this and again you can always just play around with the mix so that you know if you want it halfway like this it's gonna sound like this if you want a little bit more you can lift it So this is without and this is with I love the texture of these percussions after pitching them down a little bit so after you've done this you've got everything uh, sounding really nice what you can also do is you can also just flatten all of these sounds like if I have this sound over here I can just flatten it so I can bounce in place like this so that uh, you're not using too much CPU resources because if you use effects all that stuff is gonna add up so you can even just flatten it like this and make sure that you just render it and bounce it in place and then now you have a loop like this and then you can also just export that loop and then save it as a loop for yourself to use in uh, future projects so that's something that you can also do to save CPU and to also use in future projects so that you don't keep the same files as they are so I just showed you how to do that right now if this was helpful make sure to drop this video a like and if you want to check out any of the drums that I use in my videos and the drums that I use to make this beat right now you can check out the links below make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in another video I'm X and I'm out peace